All right, Michael, I have two questions, please. Uh, first, in your introduction, you mentioned this as a business model, but I don't see anything in the syllabus to address that, and I'm curious if we might address that at least to the point that you give us the examples of how you use this as a business. Yeah, I will. Okay. No, no question about that. Okay. And my second question is, um, you mentioned follow-up and keeping notes and that kind of thing. You know, it's been a few years since I was exposed to work held during trainings and whatnot. But he was, I would say at the time, opposed to that kind of idea. As a matter of fact, I think, if I remember correctly, he explicitly trained us not to have follow-up because it, you know, if I understood, it kind of interfered with the field. So I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't have an opinion or, or an attachment to it. I'm very curious about your point of view in that regard and how you evolved into doing it this way. Um, I just can't agree with that. Okay. I, understand, I understand completely that um, we don't want the client pushed into their mental self, you know, following a constellation. So in workshops and things like that, I tell people, please don't talk about the client and things like that. Uh, you know, the early Europeans, in my experience, said things like, well, we don't deal with trauma. I don't live in that world. I deal with trauma all the time. Mm -hmm. I cannot. It is not responsible of me to not do any follow-up. I'm not sitting there analyzing the constellation. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. I may be I may be doing coaching work or something like that around, okay, so the constellation pointed us in a certain direction. Now, how's that working? Is it developing in your life? What steps might we take? Did this bring up stuff for you that uh, we might want to use energy psychology tools on or something like this? But, I mean, the other thing, the other reason is that the follow-up is like, how do we know whether it works? How do I learn? I mean, I learn because I... I know, I, I hear from people regularly, I'm always checking in, um, they might not have anything to say, they might, I might have triggered all kinds of stuff, I've had many cases where it triggered a lot of stuff, and I really, it would not be responsible of me to not be there, having brought that up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I think one of the things that there's discussions you know, I hosted these discussions last 2015, U.S. and Canadian Constellation discussions. We'll talk about there. There's more conversations going to be happening in ISCA. We kind of have to distinguish different periods of Bert's work. Yes. You know, according to some, it seems like there's an early, a middle, and a later. And they're different. Um, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm... And there's, there's also, was also kind of a, a looking down on therapy and therapists and there's something wrong with the therapy and therapists that they somehow always become substitute for parents and things like this. I'm sorry, but I know lots of therapists who are very aware of that problem and uh, work to avoid it. And uh, so, you know, my answer to that is I respect you know, I mean, Bert gave us a huge amount of stuff. He did an amazing creative synthesis of a bunch of different uh, forms and created something brand new and wonderful. It saved my life. Uh, but I don't think he's absolutely right about everything he said. And if you read him, listen to him at different times, um, he says different things. Right. I am, however, very careful about not, you know, not... Yeah. You'll, you'll see me talking about this. There's a place for analysis and there's a place for not analysis. There's, you know, understand me? And, mm -hmm. when, you know, when, when the plane takes off, when, you know, we don't want the landing gear in the way anymore. We want to retract the landing gear. That makes sense. Yeah. Right? We get into the field and, and this, the, thing, the patterns are speaking to us and, yeah, okay. That's fine. And we want to leave the client with what I would call a, a new felt image. That's one of the terms that I heard used, which means a combination of sort of a, 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 a new way of seeing things that has an emotional wallop to it. Okay. Well, we don't, we don't want, we don't want that getting trodden down by a bunch of mental stuff. Right. I hope I'm. I hope I'm making. I mean, it's a great question. Thank you for both of them. I, I very much appreciate it, and I I tend to agree with you in many ways. And um, 
haven't had any kind of training as to how to, I guess, do follow up or what's appropriate or not appropriate in that regard. And I've been kind of out of the loop for a long time anyway, so. Well, I mean, I'll certainly be sharing what I do, which is, you know, basically a, just a check-in. It's, it's yeah. rated at about half an hour. Um, mm-hmm. That's part of the business model, too. Mm-hmm. I offer a, a range of counseling, shamanic, and uh, therapy, uh, trauma recovery services. So I want my client used to seeing me three or four times right off the bat. It took a lot of work to get that client. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You understand me? Uh-huh. So one, one two-hour thing that they're in and they're out, I don't know what happened. Maybe they'll come back. The successful ones will come back and tell me, and the ones that had maybe something horrible might come back and tell me or not. I don't know. But I I think there's very big interaction with the business model here. Your your website is international. It's not local. So if you can't offer services to a wide range of geographic areas, a lot of your website isn't isn't helping you. Who else has thoughts here? Yeah, Glenn. Uh, uh, yes. Well, Michael, you haven't said anything about you know your shamanic home altars, uh, which of course is the only thing I know, <laughs> and I really like that. Uh, is this course going to cover that at some point? Well, we're not. I mean, these are essentially. If, the, if a client doesn't have figurines to use, then and they're going to set anything up at all in their space, then it's going to be very much like a home altar. It's going to pull little object persons from their mantle or wherever the heck and set them up on a floor or a table. And, and you're going to look at them and, or, or set up something yourself. Mm-hmm. Again, folks... Just bear with me a little, because this is a lot to lay on you all in one quick intro. So um, some of it may not be that clear. I mean, so this is all like the home altar work. Mm 